Hi guys, today we're going to talk about the list of paperwork to include in your bug out bag. I'll be showing you a list of 20 essential items that you absolutely must include in your shit it's a fan bag. Number one, your photo IDs. Keep copies of your driver's license, any government issued IDs, and pictures of your kids. Don't forget to include emergency contacts and addresses. Number two, insurance documents. Your home insurance paperwork, you also need your auto insurance paperwork, maybe your life insurance paperwork, and definitely your health insurance paperwork. Don't forget to include contact information for each of these. Number three, credit card information. Keep credit card numbers, expiration dates, and codes. Make sure you have the account numbers. Record the number for lost or stolen cards. You can photocopy the cards and add any notes that may be needed. Number four, wills. Sure you need a short copy of your will and maybe a short copy of any will that you are a part of. Keep contact information for people that may be in any wills that you are a part of. Number five, your birth certificates. Make sure you keep copies of yours and your family's. Number six, your social security card. If possible, you need to use your originals, but photocopies will work. If you don't have a social security card, use copies of your immigration papers. Number seven, licenses. Have copies of your hunting license, as well as copies of your fishing license, and any copies of your concealed carry permits or firearms license if you need. Number eight, banking. Have a copy of your checking statement with account numbers visible. Also keep a copy of any savings or other accounts. Make sure to keep copies and information on all debit or banking cards. If you have a safety deposit box, then keep the paperwork and make sure to bring the key with you. Number nine, investments. Keep a list of all mutual funds, IRAs, 401ks, and other investments. Make sure you include the account numbers and contact information. Number 10, your taxes. Keep a copy of your most recent tax return. Also, make sure to keep a copy of your paid property taxes. Number 11, your marital status. If you are married, keep a copy of your marriage license. If you have been divorced, then keep one of your divorce papers. Number 12, auto. Keep a copy of your car title or purchase paperwork. Make sure you also keep a copy of your car insurance and registration. Number 13, medical. Keep a list of all doctors and contact information for them. Record all medications and prescriptions. Also record your contact or eyeglass information. Number 14, receipts of income. Have copies of your most recent pay stubs. If you receive government benefits, then keep copies as well. Also keep alimony or child support copies. Bills. Make sure that you keep copies of all home utility bills. And also keep copies of cell phone, any auto pays or internet bills that you might have. Having an extra checkbook on hand is a great idea. Home or rental. If you own your own home, keep copies of the closing paperwork. If you rent, then keep copies of your rental agreement. Home inventory. For insurance purposes, you should have a detailed inventory of the possessions inside your home. A great way to do this is a short video of each room in the house showing the contents. Passwords. Record all usernames, passwords, and codes that you may need. Also, take down all PIN numbers for debit cards, credit cards, and the like. Contact information. Record all contact information for loved ones, friends, business associates, and family. Don't forget to include addresses because you may not have a cell phone or computer to rely on. Say, And finally, maps. Have detailed maps of your region. 
study the maps to learn navigation, and prepare evacuation routes and meeting sites ahead of time with your party. Now guys, here's some tips. You can consolidate smaller items such as photo IDs to one page. Laminating these pages helps protect the paperwork from bad weather. Make sure that each person of your party has a copy of everything. You can record all this stuff on a zip drive, but don't rely on that. You still need paper records in case computers are not accessible. I uh, thank you for your interest, um, and if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. Thank you.